Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Dose of Be the Cause of Life on Purpose. Yes, you're right. I am traveling today. It's really quite fun. Uh, I enjoy getting on an airplane, although sometimes in the midst of what we've been calling Snowmageddon in Seattle, not so much fun. But I managed to get out uh, yesterday, and I'm here in lovely Salt Lake City, Utah, visiting with a customer this week. Today's word for Be the Cause to awaken your leader within and give you a little inspiration and yeah, maybe a practice or two. The word today is awakening. And I like this word very much. Obviously, you know that already because I talk about my work as awakening the leader within. And it occurred to me that sometimes people hear that phrase from me and they think, yeah, that's fine for you when you have your life all together. And I thought I would give a little bit of backdrop to say, Actually, the act of awakening the leader within is one of the things that is a courageous act in life. Uh, it takes a lot of bravery. And the bravery is because it's really vulnerable to make a choice, to set down lots of things that we've adopted as habits and strategies in our lives to have more ease. That's why we make a habit in the first place. Um, maybe early on in our lives, we created a habit out of a belief that if I did a certain thing a certain way, that um, other people would like us. Um, maybe our siblings wouldn't fight with us so much, or our parents would think we'd been doing something really wonderful. And as a child, and maybe even into our teenage years, those are really fine strategies for making our way in the world. But at some point, we stop requiring someone else's rule book to live by. And we begin to realize that there's something right on the edge of our lives that we're wanting more of, something that would be uh, enlivening and contributory to joy. Uh, at least that's how I think about it, joy in my life. How, how do I have more of that? Because I know when I operate out of my joy, I am I have much more resource and I, I find everything just goes better. So then the question is, what do I do to dismantle uh, the habits and assumptions and preferences that I've built in my life, which underneath them have some set of beliefs that maybe have outlived their usefulness? And that's really the reason awakening has become such an important word for me. It's part awareness. First, I have to notice that there's a way in which I'm operating habitually that maybe isn't quite so satisfying. I realize that um, I've always been an early riser, um, and yet um, I'm not so interested in getting up at four o'clock every day anymore. And I find that if I sleep an extra hour, um, and I have shifted my schedule a little bit to allow myself to still have my quiet time in the morning to, to meditate and to have a cup of coffee and spend some time with my journal and maybe read the paper. And so I go a little bit longer in the evening. That's okay with me. And it's actually far more matching my natural rhythm now than it was at a younger time when getting up at four was perfectly fine. And so this is what I mean, having some awareness about what are the habits contributing to us? And then actually the next part of this, once we have some awareness is to say, huh, if what was motivating me to get up at four o'clock was to be able to have my quiet time, then the question is, is that still true that that's the only way for me to have the quiet time to um, get centered and grounded and be intentional about how I want to spend my time in the day ahead? And so I'm really offering you here a couple of practices. One is to be aware of places where you might be operating out of habit or autopilot from, a, from tradition, and that that tradition may not actually be contributing as positively as it did when you first adopted it, which could have been many years ago. And of course, even more recent, sometimes we adopt habits that aren't so good for us. Anyway. First is noticing, awareness of the habit. And then secondly, to ask the question, hmm, is it true that the way in which I am behaving or taking action uh, associated with that habit or preference serving me? And is it the only way that I can have that contribution in my life? In this way, we're being very purposeful about the choices that we're making. And as we've talked about on other days, I'm connecting it back to the essence of who I am, to the values that matter to me. 
Joy is one of those things that is a value for me. It's also part of what I believe is my life mission is to um, experience my joy and yes for life and have that be contagious with others. And so it is an opportunity for me to examine, am I being all of who I can be? Can I be the very best joy catalyst possible today? If I am less driven by my habits and more purposeful about my choices. So that's all we have for today until tomorrow, where my colleague Sarah Graves will be here as I'm away working with a customer. Have fun with her next time and uh, enjoy your day focusing on being the cause of awakening. So long.